morning everyone or good afternoon. Today I'm going to show you how to enable Microsoft Entra ID single sign-on on Mac OS. By default on Mac OS you always have a local account. Until recently there was no option to natively sign in to your Mac OS with a cloud account such as Microsoft Entra ID account. This has changed uh, with the release of Platform SSO for macOS, where you can start using your Microsoft Enter ID account for signing to macOS as well. There is already a video that I recorded about Platform SSO, so if you are interested in that, definitely uh, look at one of my older videos uh, where I described uh, Platform SSO for macOS configuration. In a nutshell, Platform SSO for macOS enables you to sign in to your macOS directly with your Microsoft Enter ID account and have full single sign-on experience across the device. The device then becomes Microsoft Enter ID joint, similarly to uh, Windows devices. Um, but today I'm going to tell you more about something that's more lightweight and that's just the single sign-on via Microsoft Entra, uh, Microsoft Enterprise SSO plugin for macOS. This Microsoft Enterprise uh, SSO plugin for macOS doesn't give you full single sign-on experience. It doesn't join the device to Microsoft Entra ID. It just allows you or your users to get single sign-on experience in Microsoft and Apple apps on top of their local macOS account. So for devices that are, jo uh, that are joined to or enrolled to Microsoft Intune, so the devices that have company portal application installed, and a user is signing to the company portal application with their corporate identities, they get single sign-on experience for the corporate identity that's used for company portal also for other Microsoft or Apple applications, including obviously the web browsers. So the single sign-on experience then works seamlessly and natively in Microsoft web browsers and also Safari. And it works really great. I definitely recommend it. But like I said, it's the lightweight version that doesn't give you full single sign-on capabilities and also doesn't join the device to Microsoft Enter ID. It's just an extension that allows users to single sign on primarily in uh, Microsoft Edge and Safari. So back to the question how to configure it via Microsoft Intune. So if you open the Microsoft Intune Admin Center and go to Devices, Mac OS, Configuration Profiles, you create a new configuration profile here. The profile type will be templates and we'll be configuring device features. The name of the profile can be for instance Microsoft Enterprise SSO plugin for Mac OS and we are going to configure the single sign-on app extension which is the last uh, configuration option here on the list. The SSO app extension type will be Microsoft Enter ID. We are not going to configure any app bundle IDs, so we are going to configure only additional configuration where we need to configure three things. First one will be app prefix allow list. This app prefix allow list will be type of string and this app prefix, uh, app prefix allow list simply defines the application vendors, let's say, that will be enabled for this single sign-on experience. So will be integrated with the uh, Microsoft Enterprise SSO plugin. We define that it will be the vendor of Microsoft and Apple. The next thing we should configure is browser SSO interaction enabled which will be type of integer and value 1. 
So we enable browser SSO uh, interaction. So web browsers will be interacting with this uh, Microsoft Enterprise SSO plugin for macOS to give you the single sign-on experience in Safari and Microsoft Edge. And last configuration will be disable explicit app prompt integer one. Disable explicit app prompt uh, means that you won't be asked for the account that you want to choose for single sign-on, but you will be automatically signed in with the account that you use for the company portal application. So then you open your Safari or Edge for the first time, you go to, for instance, of, uh, outlook.office.com and you are automatically signed in with your corporate account without asking any additional questions. This is all we need to configure here. So we can go next and we choose the assignments. You can either assign it to all users, all devices or specific group. So if you are a large organization, I definitely recommend uh, enabling this in some phases. So it doesn't uh, hit all users in the organization. You should probably test it on a smaller group of users, like for instance, your IT department or selected uh, users that you can then work with and get some feedback from them. But if you are a small organization, I would uh, just uh, choose add all devices and that's it. So that's all from uh, me today. I hope you liked my video. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me directly. If you would like to know more about Platform SSO, uh, you can find the video uh, that's been already published on my Patreon. And definitely look also uh, what else I've published on my Patreon because I believe there are other interesting videos that you might find useful. And see you next time.